All right. So everyone, hear me out. I need your help. I am creating this list of associate level network certifications. This consists of 16 certs. Yes, there are many associate level network certifications out there. And we are listing the best 16. Now, we have five categories. First, we have the general networking certifications. This includes CCNA. We also have wireless network certifications. This includes CWNA. And we also have data center network certifications. This includes F5CA Big IP. And we also have network security certifications. This includes Fortinet Certified Associate or FCA. So here are the criteria. Yes, we also have criteria. First, these certifications should be active and retired certifications such as CCNA Security, CCNA Data Center, etc., are not qualified. And then second, it shouldn't be a cybersecurity, cloud, nor server certifications. So this certification should be primarily for network engineers. Specialization such as wireless network security, AI infrastructure is okay as long as it covers the foundations of networking. And last, Entry-level certifications such as CCST or Cisco Certified Support Technician, what else? Fortinet Certified Fundamentals are also not allowed. It should be, again, associate or administrator level. I already have my 13 associate level network certifications, but I still have this six candidate. So help me decide which three network certifications we should drop and which three should we add in our list? And as usual, comment below and shout out your location, like nice video Dean from Sweden, Oman, Taiwan. But if you are in a large country, please also mention your city, like from Los Angeles, Dublin, Perth, etc. And also don't forget to like and follow our social media pages. So here are the network certifications. And we will mention these by category. Note that our list are a combination of vendor-specific and vendor-neutral certifications. So the first category is general network certifications, and few of these focuses on automation. And you probably have an idea what are these certifications, but let's begin. Not in particular order though, because first is CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate by Cisco. And everyone knows CCNA. The exam cost is 300 USD. Next is Arista Certified Engineer or ACE Associate. This is the new foundational track by Arista Networks. Think of these as the CCNA counterpart of Arista. The cost is 295 USD. Next, Network Plus by Comtia. I know, some of you would say, I thought you hate the certification, Dean, and it should belong here. Yes, <laughs> but here's what you need to know. You see, we're talking about top 16. And based on its longevity and popularity, hate it or not, I think this certification deserves a spot. All right, so this certification cost is 369 USD. Next is JNCIA or Juniper Networks Certified Internet Associate Junos by Juniper Networks. This is the CCNA equivalent of Juniper and the cost is 200 USD. Next, Cisco Certified DevNet Associate. Later or soon, this will be renamed to CCNA Automation and this is obviously by Cisco System. Now, this certification is a Cisco Associate level certification that focuses on programmability and automation. And if you want to know more about this certification, kindly watch this video. The cost is, like CCNA, 300 US dollars. Next is HPE Aruba Networking Certified Associate Campus Access by HP Aruba. This is the CCNA counterpart of HP Aruba. And the cost of this exam is 260 US dollars. So that's it for our genetic or general networking and network automation category. Our second category is wireless network certifications. So we have CWNA or Certified Wireless Network Administrator by CWNP. Think of this like CompTIA Network Plus, 
is a vendor neutral certification, but focuses on wireless networks. The exam costs $274.99 US dollars. Unfortunately, we only have one wireless network certification. I still have two other candidates though under this category, and I reveal these two later. Now, let's move to the third category, network security. So we have CCSA or Checkpoint Certified Security Administrator by Checkpoint. The cost of this exam is 250 US dollars. Next is Fortinet Certified Associate or FCA. This is the CCNA equivalent of Fortinet and it doesn't only talks about firewalls. Yes, it talks about network fundamentals as well. The cost of the certification exam is 200 USD. Now, for Palo Alto Networks, <laughs> this is probably one of the strangest and the most terrible name. They used to call this PCNSA or Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Administrator, but they retired this certification and now replaced by Palo Alto Network Certified Network Security Professional or PCNSP. Again, PCNSP. Yes, it sounds like professional level, but no, it's administrator or associate level. And the cost is 200 US dollars. Now, our next category, this is quite interesting. This is data center and AI infrastructure. First, we have F5CA Big IP or F5 Certified Administrator in Big IP by F5 Networks. Think of it like CCNA, but instead of Managing routers and switches as your network devices and platforms, we use application load balancers, and that is FI Big IP. The cost is 250 US dollars, and this is actually a combination of five certs or a total collectively of five certification exam, $50 per exam. Okay, that's why it's total of 250 US dollars. If you know what, if you want to know more about the certification, kindly watch this video. Next is JNCIA or Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate Data Center. And obviously this is by Juniper Networks. This is an associate level network certification that focuses on data center networks. And the exam cost like JNCIA Junos, it's 200 USD. Next, NCA AIIO or NVIDIA Certified Associate. AI Infrastructure and Operations by obviously NVIDIA. I would say this is the most advanced among our list because it talks about not just networking, but also DevOps, AI, and machine learning. The cost is 125 US dollars. So that's the top 13. Here are the candidates. Again, six of them. Please help me identify which three deserves to be in our top 16 associate level network certifications. So first, let's introduce the two wireless certifications that I mentioned. All right, so here you go. We have first JNCIA or Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate MIST AI by Juniper Networks. So this certification is associate level network certification but focuses on Juniper Wireless Solution. Yes, the name of the Juniper Wireless Solution is MIST AI. The exam cost like Junos or GNSI Junos is 200 US dollars. Next is Roku Certified Wi-Fi Associate or RCWA by Roku. The exam cost 150 US dollars. Next is, so these are not wireless network certifications anymore. This is more of a general network certification. So next is IPv6 Forum Certified Network Engineer Silver by IPv6 Forum. So this is a little special because yes, it's a network uh, certification associate level, but it specializes on IP version 6 and IP version 6 technologies. The cost of this exam is 100 US dollars. Next is Extreme Certified Associate or ECA by Extreme Networks. This is quite unclear, you know? whether you can take the exam directly or you need to attend the instructor-led training first before you take the exam. The cost is still undetermined. So if you know more details or any information about this exam, please let me know or comment. 
Next is Nokia Certified Network Routing Specialist 1 or R NRS1 by Nokia. The cost is 125 US dollars. Now, this is five. Maybe you're thinking, what's next or what's the last? All right. Um, I'm not supposed to add this. This is Huawei because it has no value in other countries. Countries like US, UK, Canada, Australia, etc. It's simply because this company and their solutions are banned and their certifications are not recognized. But okay, let's add it as a last option. Since I am seeing a lot of flexing and sharing of these certifications via LinkedIn. So the last is Huawei Certified ICT Associate or HCIA Datacom, which is the equivalent of CCNA routing switching. The cost is 200 US dollars. So there, we need 16 network certifications. And once we decided the last three or the remaining three, we're gonna play a tournament. Yes, the best associate level network certifications. We will start the round of 16, then quarterfinals, then semifinals, then of course, the lastly, finals. Think of this as an upgrade of our versus video series or vs squared an upgrade yes of course because it's not just a one-on-one -on -one game 16 certifications in a tournament and i will provide you the rules and how it works soon i hope you like this idea and you will participate comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to hit the like button